Okay guys, what are we gonna do today? Today we're gonna change rear, sh rear shocks on a Nissan Pathfinder. It's a 2006 model and the process is same, I believe for almost all of these from 2005 all the way to 2012. We're gonna take out the lug nuts, we set up a jack and we're gonna put it um, our, our truck on the, on the stand and we, uh, I'll show you the process, how it works. So let's go ahead and take off the wheels. But before I take off the wheels, all you need is number 19 sockets and a number 19 wrench. And uh, the, the nuts are number 19, so top and bottom. So we'll see how we can open and start with, with this project. So let's take the wheel off first. So let me just show you. Uh, these are the nuts we're gonna open. Let me see if I can give you a better angle. So the nut is right there. We can open up that. And there's a bolt right here, which is number 19. We can open up that too. And what we're gonna do, see this looks pretty rusted. It's bad. And we're gonna change that. And hopefully the bolts come off easy too so and then what you got to do you got to lift your core from here so the shock is compressed and easy to take out so let's do that what would in order to do is to um, have WD-40 sprayed because if you if you're If your nuts are like kind of rusted, it's always better to use WD-40. And now we're gonna wait a little bit of time for the WD-40 to settle in. It's always good to use WD-40, it helps. So we're gonna use it because we need it. As you can see with the WD-40, it worked. So what you gotta do, you gotta open up this bolt. All right, to do the top part, you can use an extension uh, so it gives you better uh, room to work with because you see between this and this, there's not enough room. If you don't have this extension, your ratchet falls here and there's no room for you to play. I use, um, I'm gonna use a little bit of these extenders um, or these pipes and the pipes give me a better torque that I need. So let's go ahead and do that. So we take this screw out. This is out too, and your shock is out. There you go. And you see my shock has been rusted maybe. They've never been replaced ever since I bought this car, or ever since, you know, this car. And if you look, they don't have any power in it. They don't have any power. So let's replace with the new ones. Another thing to remember, you see this part, all this goes on the top some people install by mistake like this that's not the way to do it okay so this cap part all this stays on the top so let's go and do our job
All right, so we got the top part in and we're gonna put our nut back. So now we're gonna put our bottom part in. You put the bottom part in just like this. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to go in, but we'll just tap it in a little bit. And there it goes and we're going to use our bolt right here you got to make sure the screws align i mean the holes align if the holes align your job becomes much easier so we'll align our holes from the bottom So my bolt is in and what I got to do, I got to line the other side and I'm going to wiggle it a little bit at the same time I'll try to screw it in. So it's a little bit of alignment it needs on this side. And Tank is in. And what we got to do is just to tie it up. You need to know exact torque for it is 120 pounds, but uh, I'm gonna tie it up till I can't tie it up anymore. Okay, guys, now the job is done. I'm gonna take out this stain. And I'm gonna put my wheel back. So, that's the job, it's done. So guys, this was a job. It's the same process on the other side. I'm now gonna uh, show you guys how to do on the other side. Um, it's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, you know guys, you can always comment and ask questions. So this is a very small YouTube channel and every support, every, every subscription, every like helps. So please go ahead and click on that subscription button and like button and become part of this small YouTube channel and help this channel grow. Thank you so much, bye-bye.